then having buffs kind of gives rise to the heavies, because typically in Smash games, heavies are very much left to be desired. I was playing Smash 4 where DK had Ding Dong. Yeah, in the most recent yeah. games, though, they've certainly received buffs and had important places in the meta. Da yeah. Bowser and... I, I'm trying to think if Bowser or Donkey Kong was probably the better heavy in, in Smash 4. Um, I feel like it was Bowser all around compared to Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong had Ding Dong for sure. Yeah. But Bowser all around definitely probably the best heavy here. Well, he's still probably the best heavy now. But now that K. Roll and, you know, Donkey Kong have buffs now, they probably aren't too far behind. We did see K9 actually beat Shine's um, K. Roll at MSM. So we'll see how Ketchup can different differentiate himself from Shine. Yeah. Uh, Cable, I know the one buff he got was that his landing there doesn't have as much lag. Yeah. Um, he got a few more as well, but I don't really remember. Do you remember any other buffs that this character got? Cable? Cable, yeah. So across the board, Cable's oh. buffs. So you guys. Down to up smash. Kero, I mean, you're kind of seeing like some of them come out right now. But for Kero, his buff is like his neutral air has reduced vulnerability in landing. His forward air has uh, increased power range, increased attack range, oh, yeah, high yeah. damage range, and duration. Up air has increased amount of time. The hit detection lasts. It's more of a lasting hitbox now that he has his up air fixed. That way, uh, his, uh, his neutral B, honestly, it's much faster and increased attack speed, and it takes time needed to vacuum. A lot shorter. His down B honestly is reduced in vulnerability when the counter succeeds. That was good for him in the Incineroar. Yeah, oh, Incineroar yeah. got buffed. I forgot. Yeah, so him and Incineroar have uh, decreased uh, vulnerability oh, after the counter. No. Yo, man, he gave K9 the box he left. He says, I'm the only one in the ring here, man. Catch up. Oh, no. Okay, well, yeah, so. I mean, I, I don't think K was going to be top two after this, but. He's definitely... He moved up. Uh, we, we'll see, man. I mean... Well, he moved up. But who was in front of him? Probably the other characters that got I buffed. Really don't, I really don't know, man. It's hard to say, right? Like, it's it all depends on like how the character is now going to be able to perform in the meta. Especially with characters like Kyle Tana still out there as a living threat. Wolf was still such great damage output and knockback with all of his moves here. We'll see how he can still fare in the meta. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, if you think about these buffs... These characters, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to move off several spots in the tier list. You still have threats like Joker and Palutena and you know Lucina, characters with great damage against the heavies that you have to really evaluate. Like, if, if are those buffs enough for them to be more prevalent in the meta? Because we, if we want to see more cables out there, we might have to start getting rid of Palutenas. We might have to start actually nerfing Palutena, right, to give more heavies a prominence to rise in later brackets. It's it's an interesting time. Oh no, Ken tries to go for the back air, but unfortunately he will be vacuumed up. Yeah, and this is anyone's game right now. I mean, just catch up getting those early stocks. Oh nice. She fakes him out with the back air here and the blaster for extra measure. I like it because oh, he went high. He went high. I like it because he goes for blaster to force Ketchup to have to go for the low option. If he missed the back air. He would have had opportunities to go forward tilt, up smash, down smash. Like, I'll tell you, the list, the plethora of options K9 had here were immense just for going for blasting force to get to go for that low recovery. But I felt what ended up happening for Ketchup here is he overshot the ledge. And the, the chances are, like, I know Ketchup, he's he's no scrub, man. He, he's, he wasn't playing just yesterday. You know, he, he probably overshot the ledge. Yeah, I mean, what he did there was very punishable, and most of the things that Wolf is going to do on the ledge, maybe try to catch a two frame there, it's still not going to have enough lag to where he's not going to be able to punish him for going high. So, yeah. Uh, that must have been a mistake to catch up because I know he's been playing plenty of game long enough not to make that mistake, like you just said. Just landing there. Nair, uh, K9, he's really shown, like, control of the game here and played the matchup really well, but it's like, Against heavies, they just need a few hits against you. And yeah, being super heavy, right? Yeah. A character like Wolf, where he's very much a glass cannon, right? High damage, high volume, but his recovery is very much to be desired. K will honestly kind of brings an even game once you have Kanan at 60%, right? Speak of the devil here. Yeah, landing land that back air. 
And now Kayla kind of has to give, you know, catch up a little bit of respect. One miss space option, one false move here, and catch up might find himself enough for a comeback. Yeah, if he can grab, if he can get grab here, he might actually almost kill him. Especially if he's near the edge of the stage, uh, down throw into up tilt. And this matchup here against Wolfrider, like we saw early how much damage k got off the bat. Down throw, he's gonna go, f oh I like it, and he waits for the option because he knows oh. he's gonna be able to mash out of those earlier percents. And now it's at 110. You know, that, that being able to mash out may not be worth it, and I love the, oh. that was so good. He tried to vacuum him up knowing that k was going to jump over the vacuum, and he tried to hit him with an overhead, but the problem was like Ketchup already caught on to that, and he was just a second away from getting that one. That was really good from Ketchup. Yeah, unfortunately, him sucking up that that uh, bomb or the cannonball there left him open to that smash pack. He just died for it. It was good though. I really appreciate that option, but like, it just goes to show, right? Are these buffs enough for characters like Cable to still be able to perform in the meta when Wolf is still such a dominant threat alongside Palutena, Lucina, Inkling? Like, you have to really ask yourself those questions. Important questions. Yeah, I don't think any of the buffs that came out. They are going to be enough to make these characters top tiers, but yeah. uh, definitely, well, I think we'll be seeing them a little bit more. For, little the, bit for those more. who like decided to dedicate them to themselves to being a K-Roll main, <laughs> Ben Gold, um, you 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 have something to have to work with. Is, That's what's important. Is Ben Gold a K-Roll main? I don't know, man. After SoCal, I never seen a man go Bowser more than K-Roll in my life. Yeah, I, I assumed <laughs> he was a Bowser main. Because I saw him play Bowser every time. Being in SoCal has taught that man a lesson. I mean, never go K Rule. But that's alright, dude. K9 ain't no scoreboard. Neither is Ketchup, so I'll get the, that's a parry, get the jab. Just K9 get out of my face. Oh, oh, yeah, he missed it, he missed it, he missed it. Yeah, he knew the angle that just like a little more up. And the wolf combos are pretty strong against uh, K Rule here. And again, the ledge trapping, too. It's like. Wolf is already so good at ledge trapping. When you play a character with a huge hurt box like uh, K. Roll, you're lucky to ever get off a ledge. Like, yeah. All Wolf needs to do is get him off stage here. He'll probably get the stock. And to my knowledge, Kana has been really. Most of those hitboxes, like Wolf was able to throw out here, has been avoiding, been avoiding hitting uh, K. Roll's belly, which also has super armor. So that'll allow like K. Roll to kind of tough guy. The down smash on the tech roll. K9 says, man, you should have gone. Shoot here. They should have gone. Was, are you happy, K Romans? Your character is buff. Merry Christmas. <laughs> A 